Greetings everyone, this is Mr. Mall, and this is the proportional reasoning game. Proportional reasoning is uh, a way for us to predict what would happen when we change a variable by a certain factor. You know, for example, let's say I, I change the length of the string and I double it. What's going to happen to the period? So proportional reasoning is this what-if game uh, of mathematical relationships. So the rule is this. If you want to do this really simply, all you need to do is put ones in for all variables that aren't changing and put in a factor for the variables that are changing. And so let's suppose that these four variables, y, a, b, and x, are all related as follows. y is equal to a over bx squared. And the proportional reasoning game asks you, what if you changed one of these by a certain factor? What would happen to y? Uh, and so let's ask what would happen to y if we cut in half or halved a. And so the factor we're talking about here is one half. Um, and so what we can do is we can, y is going to be equal to, um, let's plug in a half for a. Notice we're just plugging in a half there. And we're going to plug in one for all the variables that are not changing. So 1 for b, x is 1, and then we're going to square that value. So when I plug this into my calculator, which you probably don't need to do, uh, a half divided by 1 times 1 times 1 is just going to be 1. Uh, that means that y is going to be cut in half as well. So in this uh, experiment, if this were my equation, if I halved a, then y would be uh, also half. So we would say if I have to a, then y would, you could say, um, decrease by a factor of 2, increase by a factor of a half. It would be halved as well. Let's see if we took the same uh, equation. Let's say we left a alone. We just keep a uh, constant. We don't mess with x, but we mess with b. What if we cut b in half? Well, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to plug 1 in for all the other things. So a is going to get a 1. x is going to get a 1, and I have to square it. And then b, I'm going to put the factor of a half in there for b. And so when I figure out what this equals, equals out to, um, on the, the denominator is 1 half times 1 times 1. is just going to be a half. So 1 divided by a half. Uh, when I divide by a fraction, I multiply by the reciprocal, and that's going to be equal to twice as much. So when I half b, y actually is doubled. y is doubled. Now the way you could say that is y is increased by a factor of 2. Okay, increased by a factor of 2. Uh, let's look what would happen if we quadrupled b. So I take my original equation again, and let's assume that a and x are, are kept constant. Uh, and so we can do the same thing we just did. Uh, we're going to keep a constant, so I'm going to put a 1 in there. Um, now b is now going to be 4 times as big as it was. So I'm going to put a 4 instead of a 1 there, times, and we're going to keep x constant, 1 squared. When I reduce that down, uh, y is going to be equal to a quarter of what it would be. So if I quadruple b, then y is affected um, by being... Uh, decreased by a factor of 4 or quartered. Okay, so we'll say y is decreased by a factor of 4. Another way we could say that. The last one, I'll do one more example for you. Uh, what if we tripled the value for x? Um, and so if, if I'm keeping the most simple equation possible, I plug in an a, a 1 for an a, 1 for b, and now x is three times what it was. I'm going to put a 3 instead of a 1. Um, and we have to square that. If x was tripled, y would be 1 divided by 9, because we square the 3. So y would be uh, decreased by a factor of 9, or um, would be a ninth as, as much as it would be if we tripled x. So y is decreased by a factor of 9.
okay, it would be getting that much smaller. So this is the proportional reasoning game. Um, plug in ones for everything that's not changing, plug in the factor for everything that is changing, and you can see how your variable is going to be affected. I hope that this was helpful.